Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to utilize desktop servers quick deploy feature. Sometimes on a shared host you might run into issues where direct deploy just doesn't work. This is typically because the host server has a non-standard configuration or could be overloaded and can time out. In these cases desktop server has an alternate method of deployment called quick deploy. It's a very simple process and I'm going to show you how to perform this task on a host running cPanel. In this case, I will utilize GoDaddy's cPanel configuration. For the purpose of this demonstration, I am going to create a local site that I would like to deploy onto my live server. I have named the site quickdeploy.dev. Once set up, you can see that I have entered a site title and filled in the fields for username, password, and email address. Looking at the front end of the newly created site, you'll see my basic installation with ServerPress Quick Deploy set up as my title. Next, go to your cPanel configuration and utilize its one-click install capability for WordPress. You'll see here that in this case I have already done so as GoDaddy can sometimes take a while to set up the WordPress instance. After WordPress has been installed, log into your newly created live instance on your host by entering the administrative credentials you entered when you created the site or the credentials sent to you via email in the event your cPanel configuration sets up your password automatically. Once you are in your WordPress dashboard, select Plugins in the left-hand column, then click Add New, and in the Search Plugins field, Look for Desktop Server, all one word as shown. Install and activate the Desktop Server for WordPress plugin and then verify that the plugin has been activated as shown. Now go back to Desktop Server and select Export, Import, or Share a Website, then click Next. Select Export or Deploy a WordPress Website, then click Next. Choose the local development instance you would like to deploy and enter the live URL in the Export As field. Select Export to a Website Archive zip file, then click Next. On the next screen, you have the option to either manually enter the database information which can be obtained by looking at the wp-config.php file on your live site, or because you have installed the desktop server plugin on your live site, you can opt to have the software retrieve the server details for you and populate the fields. Enter your admin credentials for the live WordPress installation that you just created in order to auto-populate these fields. If the improper credentials are provided, you will get an error. Enter the name of your archive and select the output folder, then click Next. Desktop Server will now create your archive for live deployment by scrubbing your database and including all necessary files. Once it is complete, click Next. Go to your cPanel and open up your file manager. Navigate to the root of the directory in which you would like your WordPress instance to reside. If you are installing this in a subdomain, please double check to ensure that you are in the correct directory, as these next few steps will wipe out your live files and database completely. Select Upload and navigate to the file archive you created using Desktop Server. Select this file and initiate the upload. Next, select Upload and navigate to your Desktop Server installation directory. On Windows systems, this can be found at C colon backslash XAMP Lite. That's C colon backslash XAMPPLITE. On Macs, this is found by opening up Finder selecting your primary hard drive, Applications, XAMPP. In this directory you will find a file called quickdeploy.php. Select this file and upload it to your live server. Verify that the two files have been uploaded and double check their upload paths, making sure they are in the root of the directory in which you wish to have WordPress installed. In your browser, go to your domain slash quick-deploy.php. In the field, enter the name of your website archive that was uploaded via the file manager in the previous step. Then click Deploy. Verify that everything is correct and click OK. Quick Deploy will now delete any files that existed and extract the archive and database. 
Once the extraction is complete, Quick Deploy will automatically load your site so you may test it for appearance and functionality. It is generally a good idea to log into the dashboard and resave your permalinks by going to Settings, Permalinks, and saving them. That's it, you're done. Thanks for watching this video and we hope that you found it useful. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please feel free to drop us a line at info at serverpress.com or visit us at www.serverpress.com.